Yeah, it was. It was. It was two good, good games in a kind of different environment as well, and it, it was good for Canary guys used to the, the kind of toil of professional rugby. Two games in in five ga five days, uh, and two tough games as well. Two different challenges. Obviously, played uh, the Arena Free Jacks, their new franchise over in the US. Um, they were physical. They made it hard for us, um, and we had to learn a lot about ourselves in that game. And then we played Leinster, which is a very good fixture all the time. Uh, now, to be honest with you, we were disappointed with the result. We were, I think it was a bit of a strange game. 52-49 was the final score. We were probably a bit behind at half-time, which we were disappointed with. But certainly a lot of guys stood up in that second half and, and really gave us a chance of winning the game at the end. And the, and the clock ran out of us kind of before the finish. So a great experience, two good quality games against good opposition in a different environment and a good learning curve for our players, definitely. For the academy guards, we had one or two of the senior lads with us, which was good. Um, you know, Duncan Williams and James Hart, um, they're a different stage of their career, but guys were able to learn off them in that tour environment as well, which was very, very good. They're two very good professionals. And for our guys then, for those guys to gel, learn how to, to travel, prepare, play, and then do it again in four days' time, that was very useful for our guys, and to do it as a group was, was good. So very positive as well, and um, we also dealt with the challenges, rightly so, supporting the senior squad. We, Played the first game and six guys went home to prep for, for Treviso. So we were very light in that second game, but you know, overall I was impressed by how the guys came through that. What we really used the window, and it's just finishing now, is those Irish internationals for, for the age grades. So the Irish 19s, the Irish under 18s, they're all just finishing up their fixtures. So we have a good look at those, see how, see how our guys performed in those. And we really used that as a benchmark to see if a guy performs international level, well, well he has a good chance of kicking on. And, and that's what we use as one recruitment tool. And obviously we've been monitoring players throughout the year to see just how they're, how they're developing and how they've gone from their club or school into the province, into the national squad. So we've, we've a good look, we're using our succession plan and are uh, looking at the footage and just really picking that academy squad for next year and hopefully we can get the best group we can in for, in for the 1st of July. I think um, the Celtic Cup we definitely saw as a real positive um, competition for our players. It gave, it gave guys a real competitive um, opportunity early on the season. Guys played a bit of pre-season rugby, we had a few guys into Pro 14 and hopefully we'll have a few more next year. And then obviously we had a lot of guys who impressed and did very well um, in the Six Nations in their 20s and uh, that's been very, very, very good. And Dave come back with a really positive attitude and that's kind of, um, uh, that's filtered through as well. And obviously then as I said, um, a few guys have impressed for their clubs and their clubs are in the mix for winning stuff which is great and we want to support that and uh, we'll be hopeful the guys will go well for Carcan on the weekend and uh, there might be something out of it.